people will say almost anything to try to get out of changing their habits. Because the meat tastes so good, right? The cheese, I know. But you gotta tell the truth to yourself. You don't need it. Plants have protein. If you don't believe me, watch two movies about this, two documentaries. The Game Changers and What the Health. Both of them are on Netflix. The Game Changers is all about athletes. Did you know that there are athletes in the Olympics who never eat any animal products? No cheese, no milk, no eggs, no meat. So if they can do it, don't you think that you can survive on plant proteins? Plants have proteins. Beans, chickpeas, lentils, tofu, tons of things have protein. Go do some research and then come back. See you soon. Hi, I really love your question. I like questions that make me think. What it comes down to though is ethical veganism is about helping the animals as much as is practicable. We don't want to hurt them, we don't want to exploit them, we don't want to eat or wear them. Unless it is absolutely necessary. But when is it necessary? When our own life depends on it. Do you absolutely know for sure that there is no other choice? There's no way to grow crops? There's no other way? Are you sure? Are you killing extra animals to sell them for other things? Other items that you might not need? Or are you killing the absolute bare amount that you need? These are questions we have to ask ourselves. Hey, I love a good question. Here's the thing, you are absolutely right. It is not really vegan to have any kind of a pet. The only exception would be when you are trying to help to save an animal. So Bella was adopted. She was behind bars at an SPCA. We went there just to check the animals. We didn't take her immediately although we fell in love with her, but it's a huge decision. I mean, adopting an animal is the same as adopting a kid. So we went back the next day, she was still there, and we've been in love with her ever since. So thank you for your question. And for those of you who are wondering, if you wanna get a stencil like this, you can go to petakids.com. They sent this to me free, and I just did this this morning. Thanks. Someone's going for ice cream. Let's see if they get the vegan version. Oh yeah, good, cruelty free, amazing, A plus to you. Three, two, one, sing. Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Hurting animals is wrong, McDonald's. Share this song and change your entire menu to be vegan from now on. If you want to have pigs for dinner, there's no need to kill them. If you want to have pigs for dinner, just invite them. Thank you! Hello, veganites! As you head towards vegan Shangri-La on your journey, I am going to be recommending some products that I have tried and that I think are pretty good. This one is Hellman's vegan mayonnaise. It has such a zip. It is so good. 
that I could just eat it by the spoonful just straight out of the jar. It really does wake up any kind of a sandwich. What you're looking for is this label here, certified vegan. So whenever you're buying any vegan products, look for that. And if you see this on the shelf, why not try it instead of the product that has eggs or milk or whatever? I tell you, you won't regret it. Do, 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 do. All right, this is what I'm eating. I already took a bite before I grabbed my camera, so I'll just show you quickly. I have some leftover buns here from when we had the Beyond Meat sausages the other day. These are just cut and toasted. At the bottom of this is vegan mayo. There is here, you can see big chunks of tofu topped with some tomato, artichoke, and a few little pieces of pickle. Some spices on top and that's it. It's absolutely delicious. It has a good amount of protein in it. It is healthy, nutritious, and there's no reason to not be vegan. Woo! There's some of you who have come to this this TikTok account because you saw a petition that said you have to save Bella the dog. Bella the dog was perfectly fine and has been vegan for three years and has been seen by the vet multiple times and everybody around in the neighborhood agrees that she's fine. The police were actually just at my door the other day because I called them and they said she's perfectly fine. But anyway, the point is that you guys as much as you are being kind of mean right now, trying to sign these petitions and take Bella away from me, you're also the coolest because you're the ones who care so much about animals. Now if you could just channel that and become vegan, that would be so awesome. All you have to do is just stop eating them. Hello everyone. There's some of you who have come to this, this TikTok account because you saw a petition that said you have to save Bella the dog. Bella the dog was perfectly fine and has been vegan for three years and has been seen by the vet multiple times and everybody around in the neighborhood agrees that she's fine. The police were actually just at my door the other day because I called them and they said she's perfectly fine. But anyway, the point is that you guys as much as you are being kind of mean right now, trying to sign these petitions and take Bella away from me, you're also the coolest because you're the ones who care so much about animals. Now if you could just channel that and become vegan, that would be so awesome. All you have to do is just stop eating them.